Welcome to this new Flight Simulator update movie. In this movie, we're gonna look at what you can expect in the latest world update, world update number 13, which takes place in Oceania, which is scheduled to be released tomorrow. So first of all, what will be in scope? Well, they will include new dam and aerials, right? Which simply means that they will include, I would say, a leveraged, um, let's say, part of the country, as well as new aerial pictures, uh, 40 bespoke airports and airstrips, 140 plus point of interest, which is a really a lot, three re research bases, uh, then the photogrammetry cities, uh, they're still unknown, so that will be a surprise for us tomorrow. Three new landing challenges, three new bush trips, and four discovery flights. So if we have a look at the airports, you will see this list, right? So you can see that the airports are, let's say, spread across multiple islands, uh, across the Solomon Islands, uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, Cook's Islands, French Hawaii, um, the Micronesia, uh, Easter Island, and Indonesia. Uh, I would say they are all from smaller airports to, I would say, a little bit bigger airports. So let's have a look at some of the screenshots which have been shared. This one, uh, it was omitted during the stream uh, by Jörg. Uh, it was a joke, right? So this will not be one of the uh, airports, but it will be one of the point of interest. Then we've got uh, Mataveria Airport, which is located on Easter Island. Um, and you can see some nice symbols here. All of it is developed by ORBX, which is known for its, I would say, high quality uh, scenery stuff and also the aircrafts. Then we've got uh, Adisu Marmo Airport, which is located on Java, which is also the previous one, uh, by the way. So all cool stuff. Then we've got uh, Pingalab Airport on Micronesia, right? You can see this one, so I would say it looks like a pretty challenging airport to land on. It looks like a really short runway. So let's see. Here's some other pictures of uh, Sapwafik Airport, also located on um, Micronesia, also a really short runway. And then we've got this long list of point of interest, right? So if you look at it, you can see, let's say, the same pattern repeating again and again. It are in this case are in, there's one big difference that there are a lot of hotels included. Uh, there's some hotels, there's some resorts included, uh, some observatoria are included, some heliporter will be added, uh, some compounds uh, as the presidential palace, for example, uh, the Hawaii State Library, the Hawaii Monarch Hotel, the Hilo Medical Center, and the Rainbow Falls. So a lot of cool things. So in total 100 in Oceania and uh, 45 points of interest in Hawaii. Also they shared some over there, right? Let's say the uh, Easter Island, the uh, Maui uh, statues, which are known. Then we've got the uh, Prambanan Temple in Indonesia. The Lampuyang Temple, temple also in Indonesia. Uh, the Sangar uh, Agung Temple also in Indonesia and you can See the level of detail, right? If you look at here at the rosters, it really is, I would say, high quality. Then some towers, including the Treasury Tower, also in Indonesia, with a heliport on top, the Wisma 46. And then the Point Venus Lighthouse, uh, located on Tahiti in French Polynesia. Also really nice building. Then jumping to New Caledonia, the uh, Chibao Cultural Central Center, sorry. And St. Island sculptures uh, or structures in Midway at, on the Midway Atoll, right? Including, I would say, a drawing here, right? Where you can see, uh, let's say, there was, a, I would say there was a strike over there, right? Doing a war that was uh, known for the Midway. There's also a movie about it. Continuing with the uh, St. Island structures, the Midway Atoll. And then jumping to the Tsubaki Tower in Guam. Also, this one is also really high detailed. You can see all those, let's say, uh, let's say it looks like balconies or something. And then the top of the uh, of the building, some details over there. The pool beach resort, Bora Bora, also in French, uh, Polynesia. And Ali, 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 <laughs> I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly, on Hawaii. And the Halikila High Altitude Observatory. Also here you can see all those details on those, uh, I would say, 
buildings, right? Really nice. So what will be the activities? Well, as mentioned, four Discovery flights, one with the Bell 407, one with the Cessna 152, one with the Diamond DA62, and one with the DG uh, Simulation LS8-18. They're taking place across multiple parts of the scenery, uh, Kiribati, Tahiti, uh, Manuakini, uh, Kia, and the West Maui uh, Mountains. So two on Hawaii and then two on Oceania. Then we've got the uh, landing challenges. Uh, we've got strong wind, uh, Palmyra with the P-16, or sorry, the P-16 is the, uh, the airport. Then the famous Nadi International Airport. Then two epic ones, the base Belgrano and the Bushimel uh, airstrip. And as last, we've got the bush trips themselves, a uh, new Caledonia tour with the Diamond DA62, a new uh, Guinea challenge with the NX Cup, and the Aloha Hawaiian uh, with the Cessna 172. So what else is included? Well, uh, last week they posted some of the uh, active development uh, wish list. So first of all, there was some support on the Xbox, not mounting while offline. That's being uh, will be released as part of world update number 13. Then the R uh, ENC, the Nav Blue update to Air Ring uh, 2304 will be included. So new beacons, updated airways, etc. Uh, the Windsock heading fix also being included, as well as the adoption of an option uh, for to dump a crash report file for users. This is likely due to the high number of crash reports which users are still reporting, uh, which then a Sobo you need to send to a Sobo for investigation. At least that's what I expect. Then we've got the water exclusion feature in the dev mod, right? So in the dev mod, if you're a developer, then that's a nice thing to, uh, which you will get. And the package uh, order tool to include all package dependencies. So the package order tools is currently an experimental tool, which you'll find in the experimental menu in Flight Simulator. And it will, uh, th there was an issue where it didn't move all the uh, package dependencies, but it now will. Then the specific airport fix, the LFGP terraforming improvements for Q6 and 27 Lima. And there's an ask users before converting terraformers uh, to a new system. Uh, so I'm wondering what that one is. Well, that will be, I would say, soon known as it will be released. Uh, last one, but it will not be included, unfortunately, in World Update number 13, will be the scenery gateway system. Right, the tool is ready and we will start this in May. Uh, I think in an earlier movie they discussed about uh, making the tool available to a, I would say, small group of uh, beta testers. It looks like that they're pretty confident now and that they will release it as soon as World Update number 14 will be there. So pretty cool. And I'm really looking forward for, uh, I'd say, World Update number 13. Again, it will be released tomorrow. Uh, in conjunction, of course, with the new aircraft, right? And the new aircraft, that's the uh, ATR 42600 slash 72600, uh, which is developed uh, completely from scratch. So looking forward for all those details. Uh, when the update will be released? Well, that always is a question. I do expect it somewhere at the end of the day or at the end of, I would say, the working day in EMEA, which means, I would say, uh, somewhere around the US uh, timing zone, uh, Eastern time, it mostly is, let's say, I'm not sure it's Zulu time, right? But where they mo mostly discuss it. But let's say 6 p.m. Central European time, I do expect it. But again, it's a lucky guess because it sometimes depends and there sometimes are some delays. So let's see what it brings. Keep an eye on my channel because I will definitely record some new videos tomorrow when it has been released uh, so that we can have a closer look at those nice uh, new sceneries which have been added as part of world update number 13. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.